At this point in time, I would request honourable member of the legislature to um, give us any statement if you have for an announcement, and we'll take it from there. Thank you very much, honourable chief of the majority party, honourable grandfather. Thank you, honourable speaker. I rise in terms of Rule 85 to make a statement. On behalf of the ANC and indeed all progressive humanity across the globe, we wish to strongly condemn the disproportionate killing of Palestinian civilians by the Israeli Defense Force. More than 500 people have died over the past two weeks, with thousands more innocent civilians injured. In so doing, putting the lives of innocent civilians on both sides of the conflict at risk. We join the United Nations Security Council in urging both the State of Israel and Hamas to work towards the ceasefire agreement, which would be the basis for the resumption of negotiations towards a permanent resolution of the conflict. The ANC also strongly condemned the launch of the ground invasion of the Gaza Strip by the Israeli Defense Force. We firmly believe that the peaceful resolution of the conflict between the State of Israel and Palestine is possible. In this regard, we firmly believe that the two-state solution is the only viable resolution for a free and independent Palestine to coexist side by side and in peace with Israel within mutually agreed and internationally recognized borders based on the 4th of June 1967 lines. We further condemn the continuous construction and expansion of settlements in the occupied Palestinian territories by the Israeli government, which violates international laws and undermine peace efforts and threatens the proposed two-state solution. We welcome the initiative to form a unity government in Palestine and we hope that the current environment will not be abused to undermine that initiative. We will also join His Excellency, President Jacob Zuma, and our national government in urging the United Nations Security Council to fully exercise its functions in terms of the United Nations Charter with regards to the Israel Palestine matter. I thank you. I'm sure it is defeating just in our culture of human rights and respect of human dignity that when such atrocities are committed by human beings against each other, it is just correct for us, those of us who are peace and freedom loving, and sections of humanity to, to stand up and meditate a bit if it even takes us just 10 seconds um, to remind ourselves that we remain human beings and that whatever the provocation the challenges associated with differences that we may find ourselves as human beings, we should never cease to be human beings. In this case, I think I request the House to stand up and in solidarity with those that have lost their lives. Point of order, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, um, I can't find a rule that would support what you would attempt to do, but as you say, you're looking at the, the humanitarian aspect. We, from our side, would stand in solidarity with the victims of all conflict in the Middle East and in the wider across the world. Thank you.